Hello, this is DM Clint from D&D for the Kids, and uh, this video is for the kids. Um, taking a look at Roll20 on the iPad. Uh, a lot of you might be quarantining or whatnot, and you're trying to play some D&D with your group, and because you are a kid, you probably have your school-issued iPad, or maybe your parents got you an iPad, but you don't have access to your own computer. So you log in to your Roll20 account, you go to your game, you launch the game, and you get in there and everything just looks fine, everything looks good. You click on a token, and you can select it, you can see everything, you go to move it around, and you can't move it around. Everything's just stuck. The screen is really weird. I should have control over all these tokens. I can't move a single one of them. And the reason is, uh, a couple months back, uh, actually a little longer than that now, when iOS 13 came out, uh, Apple proudly announced that Safari is now a full desktop experience on the iPad. It's they call it desktop class browsing, which is cool in general because it gives you better looking websites on the iPad. But in this case, it totally destroys the mobile interface that Roll20 has built in. See, Roll20 says, hey, if it's a mobile site, these touchscreen things should work. Like, I should be able to move this around. But it's seeing a desktop site. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here into the upper left-hand corner. Upper left-hand corner, you see that... Uh, there's two uppercase A's here in your URL window, um, a smaller one and a bigger one. We're going to click those, and uh, we're going to go to Request Mobile Website. And it's going to reload with a new login for us, so let's give it a try. All right, and once we load in, you will notice that almost everything looks exactly the same. However, we have the option up at the top to request the desktop site instead of the mobile site, which means we should be mobile. Now, this looks the same. However, I'm going to click on a token, and now I can move that token around. I can go over here to my journal tab. I can get a hold of characters, non-player characters. I can get to my settings tab and make changes there. I've got all of these controls that I didn't have before when I was in the desktop version of the website. So that is the secret. Good luck. Great gaming. Don't forget to be awesome.